Okay, so I'm working on Yuzol de Shawl, the first glue, because I'm behind. And um, one of the problems that I saw from the get-go was that there are so many color changes up this shawl. And she wants you to cut the stitches every time instead of carrying it up, which I think is the right decision. If you're working with different colors, um, you would definitely see that. So um, this is the side that you would change color. And you can see I don't have any ends hanging out because I've been weaving them in as I go. Um, this is from the last color change, for example, and the one before that. You can see that I worked them in about five stitches in the shawl so that when I go to weave them in, it won't be quite so bad. I should be able to just put them in a few more stitches and trim them close, and I won't have a ton of work to do, hopefully. So um, I'll show you how what I do. It's a, a little bit different than what I've seen, but I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it. When I cut the tail, I leave a decently long tail, maybe even could be a little bit longer. When I go to join in the new color, in this case it's going to be the yellow, um, I'm going to knit the first stitch as normal. And then when I go to knit the second stitch, here. I'm going to bring that brown up and around, pull it to the front of the work, wrap my yellow stitch as normal, and bring that through. And then, this is why I have the crochet hook sitting there, I'm going to come underneath the yellow yarn. I'm going to ground that brown tail, hopefully, and I'm going to pull it through so it comes back out the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to snug it up a bit and work that maneuver again. Bring the barren tail around here. I'm going to grab my yellow yarn, make the stitch there, and then pull the brown yarn underneath that yellow. And again through, around, pull that yellow through. Pull that brown under, and you can see here, looking at the thing, that the brown is just sitting there. Here they are right here, already roving in. And here's my brown tail right here, one stitch behind uh, the stitch I'm working on. I'm always wrapping it around on the stitch before. And then underneath again, you can use your fingers, you don't have to use a crochet hook. You just have to make sure that that brown comes back out. And I'm going to do it one more time. I like to do it for five. It seems like that kind of seems to be enough to hold it. And then back under. Okay. And when I go to look at the back now, I can see that I've got my brown all anchored in there and woven in. Maybe pull this tail a little bit tighter. And um, you can see where they're sitting. But on the front, it's invisible. If you look right here, it was done there. You can't see it at all same thing here there's absolutely no sign of it so I'll go and work my first row of the yellow across and back and then on the next row which would be the third row I'm going to work this yellow tail in exactly the same way so they will anchor it so it won't be hanging out the side here when I'm done if we look at the back it will also be woven in you can see here where the yellow one was woven in on the yellow side and the brown one was open on the brown side. Same thing down here. Um, so at least it gives me a start on weaving in the ends. Makes it hopefully a little bit easier when I finally get this shawl done.